Recently, we've had back to back to back to back to back rounds of sickness here. We have five kids, two adults, and it could be a huge rotation of the sickness and the illness to get through the house. So today I wanted to talk to you guys all about getting through those hard seasons of sickness in your family. So when we are sick, I don't know why, but there's this expectation out there for moms that we have to push through no matter what. It's almost like this idea that moms really don't get sick. And I remember when I was really, really sick with COVID, my husband was in a different state and I felt like death. <laughs> I was so sick and thinking I still have to do the things around the farm. I still have five kids to hear to take care of what's going to happen. I was almost getting super anxious and scared about what was that scenario going to look like if I did have to go to the hospital. Nevertheless, it was a lot of stress and anxiety. So this is why I wanted to talk to you about illnesses because moms do get sick. Dads get sick and there seems to be a lot of memes out there that they can go in their bed and just sleep all day, right? <laughs> but moms have this expectation on maybe ourselves or just society in general that we still have to push through it. When you have sick, this is in your house, whether it be with your kids or with yourselves, I have some tips for you to help you within that season. First things first, I really hope that you're doing preventative care for your house when it comes to illnesses. That is the basics of eating healthy food, getting enough rest, getting adequate movement and exercise getting outside, getting out in nature, having that balance of really well-cooked meals, really great diet for yourself and your kids, taking care of your internal kind of world with your organisms and all that stuff, having that in balance, that's preventative care. Having that in place is first and foremost the most important thing. The first thing that really you can look at when it comes to handling seasons of illnesses is to prepare for the seasons of illnesses, knowing that they will come. I feel like I've gotten a lot smarter about this as the years progress because I know that the transition from fall into winter tends to bring on a lot of illnesses in the neighborhood, in the community, and in our house. This is why I prepare for that season when the weather starts shifting from really warm to cold. I know that my kids tend to get sick more, so this is when I really Really watch their sugar intake I really watch what they're eating and I have things prepared for it I have things like medicines that we use certain ciders that I need to make any kind of natural remedies that I need to start brewing getting my medicine ordered so I have it ahead of time instead of trying to go to the store when people are sick so knowing what to prepare for understanding that there are seasons that will happen with illnesses what medications, kind of herbal remedies, what kind of natural remedies do you need to stock up on in order to have that on hand is that preparation piece that I think is really important. Next tip that I have for you is to have just resources available for yourself when you are hit with a season of illnesses within your household. Anything from pre-made meals, any kind of soups that you could freeze. There are plenty of recipes out on Pinterest. You can look on my own Pinterest page for meal preps and freeze those ahead of time so you have it on hand as well. There's a lot of resources in terms of art supplies that come out just for illnesses, anything like Play-Doh, anything that's not hard for you to clean up, anything that kind of gets them to sit in a place for a long period of time can be something that's a resource that you could use during a season of illnesses. I have special shows that they can watch during those sick times. My favorite is the Victorian farmhouse that we ne we are watching right now, which is really, really helpful in the season of illnesses. But having that too, having some shows that they could binge watch maybe if you're sick, having some movies downloaded for them to watch, not just aimlessly watching, but really using it as a way to get through the season of illnesses can be something that you can download and think about ahead of time in terms of resources that you could use. Maybe using DoorDash every single day, paper plates so you don't have to do the dishes, letting go of sweeping every day, really 
doing the bare minimum is that resource that you could kind of think about ahead of time. Finally, my last tip for you is to really let go of that guilt. <laughs> What I notice with lots of moms and within myself too, when I start feeling sick, I feel guilty. I feel guilty for not going to church. I feel guilty for not sweeping. I feel guilty for not being able to push through it and give yourself that permission slip to let go of the guilt because the only person that's feeling guilty is you. So if you let go of the guilt, really understanding that you have to put on your own oxygen mask on first to be able to give to your kids is really, really crucial. When you're not functioning well, and if you are feeling guilty, you do push yourself through things, it'll take longer for you to recover. It'll take longer for you and more resources for you to get through that season of illnesses. So when you give that permission slip for yourself to let go of the guilt and understand that you are your best self when you are nourished, when you are well rested when you're not sick can really just have you recovering faster so whether it be with your kids or with yourself seasons of sicknesses really do come into families a lot of the time within the seasons of transitions i really hope that this has been helpful for you in order for you to prepare your family for a season of illnesses if you are dealing with rotations and rounds of illnesses give it a thumbs up if it has been helpful really looking at those resources whether it be on pinterest resources Resources that you can use like DoorDash for your family and giving yourself that permission slip of letting go of the guilt and understanding that you do have to put on your own oxygen mask on first will have you thriving as a mom. Take good care of yourself, mama. Bye.